Welcome to TYT Sports, everybody. Turks and Jerks, the inaugural week one of the 2015 NFL season, uh, our best and worst of the NFL. We bring you every Monday. Uh, we shoot in the morning, we post it in the afternoon. On the panel today, J.R. Jackson, Michael Shore, and Jason Rubin. Uh, a great day of football. It truly is a fantastic Just event. Just because they played. J.R., our Jerk of the Week, Michael Shore, but uh, tur- <laughs> starting with our Turks, J.R. Jackson, uh, best. Um, <laughs> our Turk, at least mine, my Turk of the Week is Marcus Mariota. Um, no, I didn't go with what you would assume I'd go with. I didn't realize he never really had to take snaps under center. So he took snaps under center, first time in the league, of course in preseason, of course in, in training camp he did this. But he looked great. What was it, 13 to 16, 209 yards, and four touchdowns. Ironically, Jameis Winston had 210 yards passing, <laughs> but he got, his, he got kind of beat down. Uh, four touchdowns, no interceptions. He made plays at the right time. The one time when he almost absolutely destroyed it was when they were they were backed up to the goal line, and the announcers at that moment said, uh, Mariota has to make sure he doesn't get ahead of himself and try and do too much right now. He tried, almost had to end up with a safety, mm-hmm. almost ended up with uh, with the Buccaneers scoring a touchdown. Right. That was the only rookie mistake he made, and that didn't even bite them, honestly. Yeah. So, I mean, to come out, he looked poised. He made the passes uh, on the run, moving to the side, in the pocket. And he ran, too. He did everything he, he did in college that you would expect that kind of collegiate player to come in the pros and not look like a pro yet. And it looks great. They started putting out the headlines of, well, Randy Moss, John Elway. Actually, John Elway was terrible in his first stop. But Randy Moss, Peyton Manning, and now we have Marcus Mariota. But I know you're going to get to some of that as part of your worst in the NFL. But, JR, good choice for your best. Yeah, although I'm, I'm, best. It is a good choice, JR, for your best. But the fact that you sit here and you don't select Nick Foles or a member of them. When are you going to have that chance? What do they have to do to be your Turk of the Week? Beat your team. Yeah. I'm, I'm afraid uh, that won't be as, as, as difficult as what they did yesterday. But my Turk of the Week this week is the tight end, the National Football League tight end. 20 touchdowns from tight end, starting with three from Rob Gronkowski. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you go to two. Travis Kelsey. Uh, you had guys on losing teams. Delaney Walker scores a touchdown. You go last night, Jason Witten scoring. The, 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 the position has been changed, everybody said, to, oh, we, they, everybody's got to be blocking. We're in this run and shoot. We're in this pistol. We're in this read option. <laughs> the tight end position has changed. 20 touchdowns. The tight end is a very important uh, position in football. And by the way, Vernon Davis has not yet played as we go to press on this. Could change everything. Could be 26, could be 27. <laughs> Four touchdowns from him instead of the from, three of right, Exactly, from Gronkowski. That's what we're thinking. Uh, but but and, and, you know, the Eagles haven't. Uh, Zach Ertz is hurt, and and uh, and, and maybe Selleck's going to play. And in addition to that, the wide receiver, the small wide receivers, and the big tight end, it, it seems like there's been a changing almost of the guard in the offensive play in the NFL, uh, which we might get to later on today if we have time. Yeah. But in general, the tight end, impressive. Travis Kelsey showing the world how to properly properly celebrate a touchdown after great. winding it up and punching the oh, football. Yeah. Very creative <laughs> on his part uh, and well-deserved after pulling in two touchdowns for the Chiefs. My Turk of the Week, James Jones. I usually go with wide receivers for my Turks of the Week. I realized all last season I almost picked a wide receiver. Last year the theme was rookie wide receivers. Maybe this year's theme will be wide receivers cut multiple times. Right, the waved James Jones. Waved James Jones from the Packers, then cut by the Raiders, and then cut by the Giants. Maybe he would have been useful last night for the Giants. On September 5th he was cut by them. He could just call get... a timeout for the no, Giants. He last night, yeah, so. <laughs> but uh, picked up by the Packers after Jordy Nelson's ACL injury and made himself useful I keep looking at Aaron Rodgers' play, and I keep making the similarities between uh, Tom Brady never having any great receivers. You know what? Aaron Rodgers doesn't have great receivers either. He doesn't have what Peyton Manning's had throughout his career, at least. And, of course, Aaron Rodgers is that good of a quarterback. I disagree. I actually disagree. I think think he's had great receivers. Great receivers? I think he's had great receivers. Hall of Fame receivers? Um, well, some of them probably, but I mean, you know, yeah, it's hard to. There, there was that gray area between the Favre and the and the Rodgers. There was the crossover. That's the true. Crossover where they had great receivers. But the reason I say that is Jordy Nelson has just become an elite receiver, and then he goes down due to injury. He was always underrated in the past, but he was never, you know, at least a, a Megatron-sized receiver for Aaron yeah. Rodgers to throw it to. But back to James Jones. Almost three touchdowns, one called back to penalty, two touchdowns, 53 yards receiving, and one and one of those touchdown catches, incredibly difficult to make that catch uh, as he's falling back out of bounds in the back of the end zone. Impressive performance by James Jones uh, overall. And again, as long as you got Aaron Rodgers throwing you the ball, that team's offense is going to look good, no matter what. So, I feel like everyone's saying, everyone likes to say, arguably the best quarterback in the league, Aaron Rodgers. Arguably, arguably, possibly, maybe, who knows, possibly. 
Let's go ahead and say it, man. He is. I, I, it's 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 hard to keep saying it because you have a Hall of Famer and Tom Brady. It's hard to say it right now because you still have him playing, and you have Peyton Manning, and that's the first two that come to mind all the time. But he's right there with him, and and the the things he's got to, he's had to deal with last year. I mean, the gritty performance, injured in the middle of that playoff right. game. It was it's ridiculous. So I mean, we he remember lost. it, but we yeah, but it was a great performance. But he like, lost. They, just, he are you, are you making they note lost. of uh, of our of our our first Turks and Jerks loop in terms of Aaron Rodgers back there? He did break ankles on uh, the defensive end sure. for why am I blanking on this? Who the Packers play yesterday? They uh, played they, uh, the Bears. They played the Bears. The Jay Cutlet Bears. Chicago Bears. Sorry, about the Cutlets. Guys. There you have the best of the week, our Turks of the NFL Week 1 as part of our first Turks and Jerks of the 2015 NFL season. J.R. Jackson, if we get the point down and we can switch to the wide shot, we have J.R., Michael Schur, and Jason Rubin. Make sure to leave all your comments in the comment section below regarding your best of the NFL Week 1, and don't forget to subscribe.